Well, here we are with the first part of Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds. So I'm heading for the opening, which is 300 or so metres that way. As you can tell, I don't have the I didn't get the suit for all the batteries. Yes, that's a good way. What are you oh. doing, Eloy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuk have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking, Banuk shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future, or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, do do as you wish. Hmm. Gotcha. Come on. Surely you've got to jump over there. Thank you, now you move. No, got to walk farther, have I? Or is it up? No, I guess I've got to go around. Yes. I guess I'm on this way now. Guess I'm going that way to that ledge up there. And nothing there, so is it up? No. We've got to do jump over there. Yes, so. Uh, it's not up. Is it down? Big uh, one. Uh, time to drop them. get round any farther. <laughs> well, that's where I've got to head to. Forget about traveling light. What? What the hell's that? This one's a new predator. I can see the heat coming off it. It's a demonic scorcher. Doesn't like frost, maybe? Freeze our all. Red Lightning's 
trouble. We got past that. I'm not crouching. I guess I've got to go that way. Going down fast. Guess I'm heading that way. Well, I've got Yankee Freeze outfit on, so how are you? See if it's over that way now. It's over there. Follow the lights. What are you? Oh, we we'll have some. Puppets. Was there? That was another machine coming for us. Ooh, some heat. Why my hands? Oh, must be a campfire somewhere. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? Don't I've worked up a in. sweat from the climb. No, I still can't do anything on there. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Don't know me. My pixels are not scared. Smoke rising from the mountain. And the village too. What's it for? Howdy doody. Bannock outfit and they're still Carlos Outlander and Nora. What a surprise. Hmm. 
Yo, chuckles. So that's where I'm heading. Ooh, campfire. You died on Thunder's drum. Your songs will not be forgotten. Campfire. Nope. There must be a campfire. What's that? Oh, great. Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. I do not think that our hunter's blood is on Aratak's hands. He led them to a great challenge. That is all. Well, at least I've got a sea of in. Cutscene. Ready for a rare side, Nora. Bergrin, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye. A nasty business. All their best warriors. Lost. <coughs> so they're getting a different kind of send-off. Somewhat. I wandered up top like that. Get some fear paint on. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin sees the fate all Banuk long for. Death? Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? Oh. My courage! My spear! Oh. Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok! Oh. We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. Hmm. Audience and Damon. That frenzies the machines. Yes. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice, uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Aurea. 
spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Rhea vanished, I thought that Crazy might have gone with her. But here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over. Hmm. Well, you can ask about him, I guess. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Hmm. I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banu want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave. All the most important shamans gather in Vanur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Araya's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. Good luck. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rafts. I've heard only the shamans near the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine like no one's seen before. Oh, no, I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Reverend. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratok could tell me more about the ray after Thunder's drum. Guess we've got any options there. Even if I cared to travel south, I'd not get much further than the Grave Ward. About that free advice, Reverend. For you, I'll give it twice. The next time, I'll start charging. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Right for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook is stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. To enough of them, we could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a We? Oui? Me and my daughter. My assistant. Barge. My assistant and my daughter. Oh, we seem to get along himself. better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh, mm, how do I put it? Uh, Weird. Women? No, 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 I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuk camp. Is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little bird than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade boot, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. So much for my best customers. And Aurea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's drum. They believe it. But you don't. <laughs> well, I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlet. The machines in the cut are <coughs> getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Aurea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Do 
What are these Werricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clan back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove you're best at something, and you might get a place. Some Werricks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banut territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Werricks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. Well, only one left. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. Well, I guess that's the... Uh... Chat over. See you around, Burgund. Hope so. I like returning customers. Well, just a week ago, I was on the expedition, staring slack jawed at the frozen torment. I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. He's a big chop. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak. <sighs> no idea what the, uh, to ask, really. There are other wear acts in Song's Edge, too? Yes. The village has its own line for all the new who need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. Aurea knows about this, Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not in Outlanders. But I'm awesome. This Damon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It's changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But that sounds like a cold. Matter for the shams to debate. Definitely sounds like a cauldron. Did your Warwick come from this place? No, he rallied most of our hunters from across Banyor to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here. And stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remained with me, those who survived. You're set on going back to the mountain? I have put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Oh, looks like it's it for him. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. Deed. Prefer deeds to words. Right. They don't possess the skill. Well, it doesn't look like a, a slide we are down there. He looks a bit of a long way off. What's this? New quest. New quest. I will see what they want before head down. Oh, that's what we 
he's standing up there. Sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood. Yes. Better than I did. A sudden deluge, without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lao Lai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep Din? What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. Or dumb. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. Sounds like a dam. So Deep Din is a place and a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. Huh? A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now, but our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it, or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy? Or remembering. Seems like a reservoir and a dam to me. So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next, the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. Silence. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like, but I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. Kind of the empty. Ask a river to relent. Uh huh. It's an option. Who's you the one? No more music. The floods out of that. Oh no. Uh, I'm sure there was another one here. That's strange. No idea what that is. I'm being there, so I can't say anything. Daughter supposed to be. It's not really marked, is it? Because this is the frozen part. So unless she's in one of these as a merchant, it's hard to know. Huh? There's the quest. Wait, wait a moment. All right. 
That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. Yes. This? It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified, with the help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. Seems like I'm Glint Oxen. Guess there's nobody else. No, that's a campfire. I might have to click on that. There. So I'll do that one. Keeps us getting nearer and nearer. I'm sure I saw Glint Hawk Summit. Ah, oh, it's a long way back that though. That's south. But we're heading towards Nog Tuck and then. Probably need to jump on him just to open the land up. See what's what when we get there, I suppose. Any news from the hunt? The herd isn't roaming far from the camp. Keep them together this time. Then we will. I think of summer, but I bet we'll see through the trees. Let's hope anybody wants that. These are helpful. Better well, I don't though. Know how they are, not. Seem to be heading this way. Well, we'll have a look that way, see what's what. Oh, I'm fireman, that's where it was. Gorgeous Outlanders. Like one of them priests, or not? From what I remember. Keep using arrows. Get fully loaded. So it's that way, but. Can you get that way? He's joined his brother in the palace. Yep, I guess you can. Bergen said Aurea's apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully not too far. Well, get near enough. A tonic? What did it take to knock one of those over? They're about to last. Wait, you don't Can we not see it? Guess not. Must have been a ball.
Guess he's hiding up here somewhere. That must be Miltuk looking out of that. Oh. It looks like it's sending out a pulse or signal. Yeah, that's somewhat weird. Very weird. Naltuk? Who are you? How what? did you find me? Bergrind told me you could. Quite easy. Yellow, yellow thing. I've told that Osteram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Hmm. Aratok said this daemon was... Cleansing machines? Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Cauldron. Then you know more than I do. These towers, were they part of your corruption? No. Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Why, well, you said where she went, didn't you? Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Oh, I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. All right, you want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Aloy the Great. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to array. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. Hoorah! Yeah, those campfires nowhere near. Well, I couldn't say that at all. That's no clue. Stones override machines as well. And fixes them. I'm ready. Gotta be.
can repair that now or not. So you cannot repair it if it's kicked the bucket. That's good news. your business. Certainly can't. Now we know how to deal with the machines in the towers. The demons met. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. 
We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Bergen told me you were Rhea's apprentice. In her absence, I served the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. Well, responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Rhea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. So he is still an apprentice. Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. Well, I suppose that's up to you then. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find a Rhea at the end of it? No. She goes further up. Somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, will you tell her? I have faith she will hear the voice again. All right. I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. Well, apparently it's 500 meters ahead. There's a campfire which I'll need to get. And the campfire there, and the lakes there. So, unless I go over there, like. And I'll be able to have a look around. I don't think I can see if I can. No. Sworn I heard a goat. That was a long way off. Goats is new. Can't remember any goats in the other one. Dare touch me? Shameful. Oh no. 
need for protecting it. This tarmac is probably holy to them. Someone died of that in it. Need a lead. Focus might find something. Easy. Of the scavengers, it is now. Should have brought a cart. And a truck. I haven't seen a cart like this before. That's a big one. Well, there's a grotto. There's a green. Don't think I can get that cutter. No. Well, I've got that. Could be something around that my focus will see. It looks like the scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even reactivate it. It's possible. Oh, 
own outfits. Sure hope it works. Special boxes. Quests. Uh, so, oh, I was at the ancient armory. I was still one short on the fuel cells. And nobody wrote a comment telling us where I'd missed it. So I didn't get the armor. It's a long way off at the minute. There, apparently. Oh, no, it's not down here. To leave something else behind. Hey, grab what you can. Hmm. I should be able to shoot them up there. So we had to do it.
Halt den Tag, wie immer. Probiert. Take a nut. Now that's what I'm doing, but you keep sending us that way. I can say. You come from, like. Oh, 
So where is it? Spare the weight. Yep. Holy skip. Call you there. You back here. Got to make your mind up. Did she wake you up? I'm not getting up there. Not high enough to make the jump anymore. I need to find a new spot. And that wasn't it. Sticky out bit. Get the upper hand. Too high. Oh, you 
wandering that way now. This looks about flat ground. Which is tricky. Yes, I can think of. Say more, let me know.